Sometimes you can be right for all the wrong reasons. And a couple days ago I posted a video admitting I was wrong about something. Turns out I wasn't wrong. But I was. But I wasn't. Let's get into it. All right, quick overview in case you missed the other videos. You see this receptacle with that special configuration? That T-slot is designed so that heavy-duty 20-amp loads can be plugged into this receptacle. So when a piece of equipment is meant to draw on a 20-amp circuit, it comes with that horizontal blade. And that will only work on that receptacle and not on that one. So that stops you from plugging this into a 15-amp circuit. Okay? The issue was... When are these allowed to be put on a 14 gauge wire fed by a 15 amp breaker? As far as the 2020 code was concerned, they were not allowed. So here's the wording saying it's not allowed. Receptacle rating shall conform to this table. And then you go over to the table and 15 amp circuits, the receptacle rating shall not be over 15 amps. Makes total sense how it's always been. So I'm not the code expert when it comes to certain terminologies like Paul Abernathy and Angry Spark are, so I might use the wrong terminology. But this is a document requesting a code change because somebody wanted to be able to put those 20 amp receptacles on 15 amp circuits and even 30 amp receptacles on 15 amp circuits. Okay, here is the actual document. I wish I had better fancier software to show you this better, but let's get into it. If you zoom up here, it's their reasoning, okay? So, the original reasoning is the code currently allowed you to have single 30 amp receptacles on 15 amp circuits. And they just wanted to extend that rule so that you would have a requirement that would allow you to have install multiple receptacles of a higher ampacity on a lower rated circuit since it's protected by an overcurrent device. They literally said they wanted to be able to put 30 amp, multiple 30 amp receptacles on a 15 amp circuit and that's okay because the breaker will catch it i think that's foolish so even though that doesn't make any sense to me that was voted on and approved as a code change for 23 and the way they did it is they removed the term conf shall conform to the table to shall not be less than the table that means it can be more than the table so the article here says shall be less so and then you go down here oh we're not sorry this one 15 amp circuits shall not be less than 15. It doesn't say it in the table though. That's important, that's gonna be important in a minute. It says it in the text, but not in the table. So because I made a video saying the 20 amps on a 15 were a code violation, and then it looked like in 23 they were no longer a code violation, I posted a video admitting I was wrong. But then I started getting comments from a random Sparky about 406.4 is a conflict. I'll show you what 404, 6-4 says in a second. He was right in everything he said, but I was exhausted after the roller coaster were going back and forth, and I didn't fact check everything he said before I went to bed, and I was only getting it from one source, so I didn't feel comfortable completely trusting it till I could verify. So I go to bed. I wake up to text messages from Paul Abernathy and Angry Sparky saying they have found this also. So let me show you what it says. So this is 2020, 404, I mean, sorry, 4064A talks about how you size receptacles and they have to be the same as their rating except for as provided by these code references but the key is it doesn't say go to the text of the code it specifically says you have to follow what the table says so when they made the change to update what they wanted to do they never changed 4046 so 4064 so when you go to the 2023 code it still directs you that you have to install receptacles by what the table says. Not by what the article says, by what the table says. And the wording shall not be less than is not part of the table. So even though this says shall not be less than, because the change was not made to 4064, we still have to go by the table. And this is irrelevant. Uh, so you still can only put 15s on 15s. Even though people put in for a code change to make it that you could put 20s on 15s, they uh, didn't do the code change correctly. I don't know the true drama behind how that happened. If the code making panel for 4046 intentionally had it say table so we couldn't put 20s on 15s, or if when they made the change it was just 
an accident that they didn't also update 4064. Um, I, I don't know. But what makes me think it's not an accident, which is really weird, is uh, there were no public inputs to change it for 26. So this conflict will exist all the way to the 29. And it might still be in the 29. So the way it's being explained to me, when you have two parts of the code that conflict each other, the one that is more stringent wins. But there you go. So originally when I told Nate, the Homestead guy, you can't put 15s, you can't put 20s on the 15s, I was right. And then I was wrong, but I'm right. You still can't do it. So pretty cool. Thank you very much. So, and I plan on doing another shorter video, uh, maybe explaining this quicker, because I know a lot of people don't make it all the way to the end. So I'm going to repeat this again in a shorter video. I just really need to thank everybody. Angry Sparky, Paul Abernathy, Random Sparky were extremely helpful. They did a lot of legwork for me. I'm just the mouthpiece for all their research. I never would have found that on my own. But also just the commenters in general. When I when I posted that, I, I li literally lost sleep posting that I had to that I did something so blatantly wrong on a video that got so much attention on a non electrician's page, Nate's page, where they were trusting me to be the expert and I flubbed it. Uh, and I really thought I was going to get ripped apart by everybody by coming out and saying, hey, I was wrong. But uh, the commenters were awesome. They're awesome. I think that most of them were understanding of how the mistake was made and they disagreed with the rule. It was just it was a really positive experience and it could have been a horrible trolling event. But thank you very much. One thing I want to add too for the people who have been blocked by Angry Sparky and Paul, maybe they're not seeing their videos. They disagree that it's a hazard. Uh, Paul's just concerned. I, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but my understanding of Paul is just concerned with the safety of it and he doesn't see it as a safety risk. The breaker will function. Angry Sparky feels the same way, but he does think it's a bad install and a stupid install. Uh, if you haven't been blocked by them, you can go hear them say it yourself. But uh, I just wanted to put it out there that I'm very vehement that I think it's a hazard. But I only have my logic. I don't have stats. I don't have the UL rating of the time curve of how long it takes a break at a trip. So while I still think it's bad install and it's unsafe, the people who are more familiar with me with how circuit breakers are built and how ratings are established saying it is not a hazard but it's useless anyway anyway i just wanted to put that out there all right thank you very much for the last time